In this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate the Sprint Cloud Config Server and Client and deploy the both apps on Heroku Cloud. I have got servers and clients code along with properties in the Git repository. Here is the bootstrap.properties file having Git URI pointing to the, the Git repository, containing the property files. To deploy the app on Heroku Cloud you need to have the app.json and proc file at the root parallel to palm.xml file. Proc file is a mechanism for declaring what commands are run by your application's dynos on the Heroku platform. Here process type is web, hence when a dyno of this type is started, the command associated with the web process type will be executed. App.json is a manifest format for describing web apps. The command in the web process type must bind to the port number specified in the port environment variable. If it does not, the dyno will not start. It declares environment variables, add-ons, and other information required to run the app on the Heroku. Now let's deploy the config app on Heroku. Sign into Heroku and hit the show new URL to begin deployment. Provide the app name and hit deploy. Deployment process will start and screen will show the real-time logs. Meanwhile config app is getting deployed let's check the properties in the git repository. Config server properties have two configuration file having single key value pair message. Let's also have a look at the client code. Client code 2 contains the proc file and app.json. Also notice that bootstrap file has config. URI pointing to the config server on Heroku. This client runs in dev profile and application name is my app. Let's parallelly deploy the client app. Now config server is up. Let's hit the view button to show index page. We got the page. The most preferable properties will be on the top. The config server has resources in the five forms. If we change the profile for which the property file is not present then we will get the properties from the common file. Now client app is deployed. Let's hit the view button. We got the home page. Now let's hit the endpoint exposed by client that reads message property from the server and display it on browser. Now we got the value of message.
Let's have a look at the endpoint code of client.